The stress energy tensor is a tensor quantity in physics that describes the density and flux of energy and momentum in spacetime, generalizing the stress tensor of Newtonian physics. It is an attribute of matter, radiation, and non-gravitational force fields. The stress energy tensor is the source of the gravitational field in the Einstein field equations of general relativity. Just as mass density is the source of such a field in Newtonian gravity. Definition The stress energy tensor involves the use of superscripted variables. If Cartesian coordinates in SI units are used, then the components of the position 4 vector are given by x0 equals t, x1 equals x, x2 equals y, and x3 equals z, where t is time in seconds, and x, y, and z are distances in meters. The stress energy tensor is defined as the tensity alpha beta of order 2 that gives the flux of the alpha th component of the momentum vector across a surface, with constant x beta coordinate. In the theory of relativity, this momentum vector is taken as the four momentum. In general relativity, the stress energy tensor is symmetric. In some alternative theories like Einstein Cartan theory, identifying the components of the tensor. Because the stress energy tensor is of order 2, its components can be displayed in 4 times 4 matrix form. In the following, I and K range from 1 through 3. The time time component is the density of relativistic mass, i.e., the energy density divided by the speed of light squared. It is of special interest because it has a simple physical interpretation. In the case of a perfect fluid this component is and for an electromagnetic field in otherwise empty space this component is where E and B are the electric and magnetic fields, respectively. The flux of relativistic mass across the Xi surface is equivalent to the density of the ith component of linear momentum. The components represent flux of ith component of linear momentum across the xk surface, in particular, represents normal stress which is called pressure when it is independent of direction. The remaining components represent shear stress in solid-state physics and fluid mechanics. The stress tensor is defined to be the spatial components of the stress energy tensor in the proper frame of reference. In other words, the stress energy tensor in engineering differs from the stress energy tensor here by a momentum convective term. Covariant and mixed forms in most of this article we work with the contravariant form T mu nu of the stress energy tensor. However, it is often necessary to work with the covariant form, or the mixed form, or as a mixed tensor density in this article we use the space-like sign convention for the metric signature. Conservation law. In special relativity the stress energy tensor is the conserved noether current associated with space-time translations. The divergence of the non-gravitational stress energy is zero. In other words, non-gravitational energy and momentum are conserved. When gravity is negligible and using a Cartesian coordinate system for spacetime, this may be expressed in terms of partial derivatives as the integral form of this is where n is any compact four-dimensional region of spacetime is its boundary a three-dimensional hypersurface, and is an element of the boundary regarded as the outward-pointing normal. In flat spacetime and using Cartesian coordinates, if one combines this with the symmetry of the stress-energy tensor, one can show that angular momentum is also conserved. In general relativity when gravity is non-negligible or when using arbitrary coordinate systems, the divergence of the stress-energy still vanishes. But in this case, a coordinate-free definition of the divergence is used which incorporates the covariant derivative where is the Christoffel symbol which is the gravitational force field. Consequently, if is any killing vector field, then the conservation law associated with the symmetry generated by the killing vector field may be expressed as the integral form of this as in general relativity.
In general relativity, the symmetric stress energy tensor acts as the source of space-time curvature, and is the current density associated with gauge transformations of gravity which are general curvilinear coordinate transformations. In general relativity, the partial derivatives used in special relativity are replaced by covariant derivatives. What this means is that the continuity equation no longer implies that the non-gravitational energy and momentum expressed by the tensor are absolutely conserved, i.e., the gravitational field can do work on matter and vice versa. In the classical limit of Newtonian gravity, this has a simple interpretation. Energy is being exchanged with gravitational potential energy, which is not included in the tensor, and momentum is being transferred through the field to other bodies. In general relativity the landau lifshitz pseudo tensor is a unique way to define the gravitational field's energy and momentum densities. Any such stress-energy pseudo-tensor can be made to vanish locally by a coordinate transformation. In curved space-time, the space-like integral now depends on the space-like slice. In general, there is in fact no way to define a global energy momentum vector in a general curved space-time. The Einstein field equations in general relativity. The stress tensor is studied in the context of the Einstein field equations which are often written as where is the Ricci tensor, is the Ricci scalar the metric tensor, and is the universal gravitational constant. Stress energy in special situations Isolated particle in special relativity, the stress energy of a non-interacting particle with mass m and trajectory is where is the velocity vector delta is the Dirac delta function and is the energy of the particle. Stress energy of a fluid in equilibrium for a perfect fluid in thermodynamic equilibrium. The stress energy tensor takes on a particularly simple form where is the mass energy density, is the hydrostatic pressure, is the fluid's fall velocity, and is the reciprocal of the metric tensor. The fall velocity satisfies in an inertial frame of reference co-moving with the fluid, better known as the fluid's proper frame of reference. The fall velocity is the reciprocal of the metric tensor is simply in the stress energy. Tensor is a diagonal matrix electromagnetic stress energy. Tensor the Hilbert stress energy tensor of a source-free electromagnetic field is where is the electromagnetic field tensor. Scalar field the stress energy tensor for a scalar field which satisfies the Klein-Borden equation is variant definitions of stress energy. There are a number of inequivalent definitions of non-gravitational stress energy. Hilbert stress energy tensor it is defined as a functional derivative where is the non-gravitational part of the Lagrangian density of the action. This is symmetric and gauge invariant. See Einstein-Hilbert action for more information. Canonical stress energy tensor Noether's theorem implies that there is a conserved current associated with translations through space and time. This is called the canonical stress energy tensor. Generally, this is not symmetric and if we have some gauge theory, it may not be gauge invariant because space-dependent gauge transformations do not commute with spatial translations. In general relativity, the translations are with respect to the coordinate system and as such, do not transform covariantly. See the section below on the gravitational stress energy pseudotensor. The Linfant Rosenfeld stress energy tensor in the presence of spin or other intrinsic angular momentum. The canonical Noether stress energy tensor fails to be symmetric. The Linfant Rosenfeld stress energy tensor is constructed from the canonical stress energy tensor and the spin current in such a way as to be symmetric and still conserved. In general relativity, this modified tensor agrees with the Hilbert stress energy tensor. Gravitational stress energy. By the equivalence principle gravitational stress energy will always vanish locally at any chosen point in some chosen frame. 
Therefore gravitational stress energy cannot be expressed as a non-zero tensor, instead we have to use a pseudo-tensor. In general relativity, there are many possible, distinct definitions of the gravitational stress energy momentum pseudo-tensor. These include the Einstein pseudo-tensor and the Landau-Lifshitz pseudo-tensor. The Landau-Lifshitz pseudotensor can be reduced to zero at any event in spacetime by choosing an appropriate coordinate system.